Nakalagay natin na wala ABS-CBN. Even... Are you telling me na namatay na freedom of expression and of the press? Of course not. Ang daming networks, ang daming radyo, nandiyan pa rin. And uh, ABS-CBN can always, alam mo na, kadali lang naman gawa ng paraan yan. Eh. Haven't you noticed yung mga lumalabas niya sa screen ninyo? Parang lumalabas si Presidente may kasalanan. Eh. Nakikiusa. Teka, kaya nga sabi ko yun, much ago about nothing. Pati yung petition for co-warrant to. Alam mo itong petition for co-warrant? Nag-file. Okay? Kailan ba supposed to be mag-expire? End of the month of March. Oh, Unang-unan, hindi mo nga alam kung marinig ng Korte Supremo yun dahil siyempre maraming filing ng pleadings. Baka by the time, nag-expire na. Even assuming na nadinig na nila at ito'y sinabi nilang granted. O ano naman kung granted? Eh di ganun pa rin, may pending application ka naman. Kasi kung meron kang violation, doon ka lang mananagot sa violation mo. Pero up, after that, pwede ka naman mag-apply. Still, Congress that will decide whether you're entitled or deserving to be having a renewed. Mm-hmm. Ano bang uh, iba yung aking sentimento dyan? Personal yung akin. Pero yung pagdating sa grant or renewal, sa kongreso niya, ano kinalaman ko doon? Sinasabi nila, eh, paano kong ibito? O ano kong ibito? Assuming na ibito. Eh, you can override the veto of the president. You must remember the record of this president. Mga appointees niya sa cabinet, hindi nakalusot. May narinig ba kayo presidente? Did you even hear any utter of disappointment or disgust or anger against the members of the commission of appointments. Wala. Wala ka na rin. Eh, diba? Meron siyang sinasertify na urgent bills. Ginawa naman ng Kongreso. Pagdating sa kanya, binibito niya certain provisions. In other words, this president, abogado kasi. Yun ang training niya. Kung ano yung batas, sundin mo na lang. You know, during the cabinet meetings, Karen, pag nagkaka-debate ron, alam mo palagi niya na siya, Let the law take its course. Kung ano yung batas, gawin nyo na. Wala siyang pakialam dyan. Kung magsarado mo o hindi. Sabagat hindi ko naman, oh, wala akong control dyan eh. Kongreso yan. It's not my turf. Yan ang ibig niya sabihin. I have to, to take a cue from Malacanang. Why do members of Congress have to wait for what the President will say about anything? It's about time, if that was the practice before, tigilan na po natin yan. Kung ano yung trabaho nyo under the Constitution, gawin nyo. They're barking at the wrong tree. Palaging parang pinalalabas niya si Presidente ang may kagagawa ng kung hindi ma-renew. Hindi. Certainly not. Walang kaugnayan. You know, the President made utterances against ABS-CBN. He made certain statement like, I'll shut down. But hindi naman literal yun eh. He wants to shut down the fraudulent practices of your network. What is this? Hindi ba? During the campaign, nagbayad siya. Hindi in air. My TRO, against Trillanes na ilabas yung yung kanyang paninira. Sinun, sinunod niya ba? Hindi. Yun ang kinagagalit ni Presidente. Yung mga ganong classic practices. Kaya siya nagalit. You cannot deprive this man from expressing his displeasure or disgust or anger when he is a victim of fraud. Di ba? And, and injustice. Pero walang kinalaman yun sa pag-grant or pag-renew because that is the job of Congress. So, so may kanya-kanya kayong trabaho even members of the cabinet, we have our own functions. The president does not interfere with it. We are giving a free hand. Since Kalida is on his own, ganun naman ang karakter din yan eh. Trabaho, alam mo, tinanong ko siya. Sabi ko, Padre, sabi ko, ba't ka raw nag-file ng co-warrant ito ngayon lang? Eh ngayon ko lang natuklo sa may violation eh. Pero bakit naman daw mag- mag- mag-e-end na eh, sa kakala nag-file? Abay, kung di ko naman final, ako naman, they will run after me for the reliction of duty, which is correct. Moreover, as I said, kaya mag-grant siya na uhindi, it will not affect ABS in here. So it's much of do about nothing. Yung granting sa renewal sa house, di ba? Pero kung nag-violate ka dyan sa franchise mo, sino bang may jurisdiction dyan? O di magdidemanda sa'yo sa hob dyan because may violation eh. Hinga ang trabaho niya. O bakit mo sasabihin na hindi pa pwede? Pa- Supreme Court that will decide whether that's covered with this subjudice rule. I don't want to preempt that. Pero pagkakaintindi ko ng subjudice, hindi papasok yan sa Congress. Hindi yun sila yan. Sa katrabaho nila mag-investiga. Problema ko yung mga resource persons. Baka tamahan. Constitution, demarcate your powers and functions and duties. Yun ang ginagawa ng presidente. Kung ano lang yung trabaho ko yan. Unless, as head of the state, lalapit ka sa kanya at merong abuse of power, merong injustice, 
el Papa Asocia, because he cannot countenance any illegality, any violation of any law. And he's outraged by any kind of oppression or injustice. Don't move past the president. Browns and the cowards does not even touch your right to criticize, your right to make editorials, diba? So, ano connection ng freedom of expression or of, this, of the press? Di wala. Ang problema ko kasi sa inyo, hindi yung ano, hindi yung mga bagong executives ngayon. Kakaawa nga dahil <laughs> ang gagaling ang mga bata, matitino. Now they're suffering because of what their fathers did or yung mga uncle nila. Alam mo, alam na nila na mali yung ginawa nila. And yet, did they do anything to appease the person naging biktima ng kanilang injustice and fraud? Wala. Yun ang tinatawag ni Prisina na hubris. Di ba? Mabuti nga, nakita mo si Carlo kanina katigbak. Meron siyang statement. Parang sa niya, kakamali din kami. Buti pa itong batang to. Marunong umami ng pagkakamali and we will right the wrongs. Not your uncle or not your father or not those who are running or who were running ABS-CBN. Mabuti pa itong mga bata. May pag-asa pa ang ABS-CBN because of them.